Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add a customized background image to your website. Do you see where it's dark brown here? I want this to have a bit of a texture. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new tab and I'm going to Google background image generator and it should be that top site. You can see the web address. I'm going to click on that and this site allows you to get some really interesting backgrounds. So what I need is I need that dark brown color so I could use the Colorzilla app or I can go to the actions, manage site, go to themes and colors and choose entire page and go to that drop down arrow of that paint bucket to get that brown color. I would then right click and choose copy or control C. I then go back to background image generator and I would paste that number in here and there's that brown. You could then come in and start experimenting with some of these options in here. You can see it's barely changing but there is a bit of a texture. So I'm going to explore. I really want to encourage you to experiment by playing on this website. After experimenting I thought this might actually complement my cafe. So I played around with the pattern and I played around with the blend mode. There's also some other options down below. Once you're happy you choose download background image at the bottom and since I'm using Google Chrome I'm going to the drop down arrow and choosing show in folder and there it is I'm going to go ahead and right click on that I will rename it background I'm then going to right click and choose cut and I'm going to my folder on the desktop I will put it inside of that Google site unit and I'm going to right click and choose paste I'm now ready to go to my website and add it now take note, if you're at the regular website, you're going to choose the actions, manage site, choose themes, colors, and fonts. And since it's going to be on the entire page, I will choose background. See where it says image? I'm going to click on this icon and grab that background to add that. And you can see it's been added to my background. I will choose save and go back so you can see the end result of that customized background image. This concludes the session on how to use the background image generator to put a fancy background on your website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.